guys, it's Miss Alyssa, and I'm super excited about this video because I'm going to be telling you guys things I wish I would have known as a freshman at Embry-Riddle Analytical University. So I have a list here of different categories of things that I wish I would have known, so let's get started. The first thing I wish I would have known about uh, Riddle is their meal plans and how they worked. So freshmen are required to have a meal plan and the most basic meal plan is the 14 uh, meals per week, which is about two meals per day. I had one of my friends their freshman year, their parents were like, that's not enough food, we'll have to do three meals a day. No, you only need 14 and here's why. So there have been plenty of times where I uh, have leftover meal plans or I'll have my friends use my meal plans and I still have meal plans left over or um, I just go out to eat on like a Friday night with my friends, it's their birthday, we go out and celebrate and that's one less meal. Another thing I wish I would have known is you can cash out your meal plans. So let's say you get to the end of the week and you have five meal plans left for whatever reason. I just thought they kind of disappeared. They don't roll over. So if you have five left, they don't get added to the next week. It resets on Saturday. At least that's what it was when I was a freshman. Every Saturday um, they would reset. I think it was at like two, they would reset. Um, so you can cash out those meal plans. There'll be a list of what you can cash out for. So for example, it might be four cereal bowls is a meal plan or four water bottles is a meal plan. Just keep in mind the average price of a meal plan is about $15. So you kind of are losing money by cashing out, but at least you're not missing out on cashing out. Now, how does a meal plan work? So I literally spent the first uh, maybe two to three weeks like dining at the buffet because I didn't know how meal plans work. They were never explained to me um, I didn't live near the refueling station. So this uh, Mental thing is only for the refueling station. So think of it as a point system So you have four points per meal plan again. This does not uh, go with Chick-fil-A It doesn't go with Cadoba doesn't go with the wing truck doesn't go for any uh, or the buffet um, it's only used for the refueling station. So think of it as a four point system. You have your entree, two sides, and your drink. So you can get like a six inch sandwich and then chips, a cookie, and a drink. Or what you can do is you can get a larger sandwich, so a 12 inch, so that's two, and then your drink and like a cookie or something like that. So it's a four point system. Okay, so the next thing, the next category is dorm and life. So when I moved in, I was super excited to be a buddy buddy and best friends with my roommate and it just didn't turn out that way. Um, I had a lot of issues. I can go in a whole nother video about all my horror stories. Nothing too extreme happened. We just had a lot of disagreements. Um, we had one extreme happen. So I was really on my own. I didn't have any friends in this area, so I felt very lonely. Um, but the great thing about Riddle is there's a lot of people come from like out of the country so a lot of people feel the same loneliness as you so just get to know them a little bit more make new friends the other thing i want to emphasize is do an llc if you have the opportunity so the college of business has a limit learning hmm, living learning community llc which is where everyone in the hall is all business majors and you get to do fun things so there's like zd with your sweetie we have burritos and board games we have um like dogs of the deans like you get to like hang out with professors and you get to hang out with students in the llc kind of get to know them a little bit better one in that hall is a business major and it's just really nice because you get to like study together you get to like work together and I had an amazing time and then I eventually was transferred to the women's LLC when I did move out of my dorm so if you can join an LLC I highly recommend it there's lots of fun activities we went bowling cosmic bowling one night and it was so much fun next biggest thing at Riddle we have so many different organizations for so many different like activities so i would highly 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 recommend you joining an organization i am the hugest advocate for this um not only because i was president of two organizations but i was a part of four organizations throughout my college experience maybe a fifth one so i was in dance team my freshman year uh sophomore year i was on dance team and i was in riddle players uh, junior year, I was in Delta Nu, president and founder, and a member of Phi Beta Lambda. Senior year, oh, oh, I was, oh my gosh, junior year, I was president of Phi Beta Lambda. And sophomore year is when I joined. 
And then I was a uh, treasurer of both Delta Nu and Phi Beta Lambda, and I was an honorary member of Herbal. I feel like I'm forgetting an organization. Uh, there's so many organizations on campus. Um, so definitely join one. There is about like 300 plus organizations. There's a rock climbing club. There is so many clubs that you can join to find your voice, to find your people, and to have a chance to lead an organization, get those leadership skills, get those like conferences. Like PBL, we had so many different conferences we've been gone to, so many different charities that we raised money for. I highly recommend joining an organization. I could not stress that enough. The last category is all things school. So um, one of the first things I recommend is utilize the free services at Riddle. So we have free tutoring, a squared, which is now in Nearest 3, I believe. It was in uh, COAS when I was a freshman. There is uh, like physics, there's uh, math, there's anything you can really think of for engineering, EGR 101, I think there's a, a coding uh, tutoring. They also have the writing center, which I utilize a lot and it um they don't correct your paper they read it make sure it's cohesive make sure there is correct um citations throughout the paper things like that so you can learn how to be a better writer in the future also the college of business has their own separate tutoring lab for like economics for excel classes things like that so that is located in the college of business second floor by the dean suite um while the um and the ones are located in New Res and they're free, free tutoring. So you don't have to pay a dime in tutoring. Another free service is the health center. I wish I would have known this as a freshman. So to get counseling, um, you have to have your, your medical waiver or you have to sign up for the medical um, program, but you get eight free sessions for counseling. Now our semester is nine weeks long, so that's almost one session per week. If you have to go more than one session per week, there is an additional charge, but if you just space those out, you can have free like counseling. The other thing that is free are different programs. So one program is called Night Flight, and I have not heard anyone talk about this until I was uh, probably in October when I joined dance team and there's a lot of other upperclassmen, and I was like, I did not know this, it was not advertised. So they have Night Flight, and what you do is at night you call Campus Safety and you're like, hey, I'm at Wood Hall and I need to get to the Union, do you mind picking me up? So they will send a golf cart over to get you and drive you across campus. So Night Flight is one of the amazing programs. There's other programs. SGA has free coffee. Um, take any event that we do, go to events. Um, also, a lot of games are free. Certain nights there are student nights and it is free admission or it's like a themed night. You also download the student athletes app. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll pop a picture here and you can, with your student ID, get into games for free. It's not very well advertised, so it's a kept secret. So I highly recommend going to games, check out the free games, and go into those free programs or free events like Blue and Gold Week. Uh, they give out t-shirts, uh, posters, free things. So definitely do that. Another thing that I wish I would have known as a freshman is do not buy your textbooks. Wait until the first week of class to buy your textbooks. And here's why. I have a professor who put on his list that he needed this book. And I bought this book. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to read ahead. I read the first chapter. And we didn't touch the book until week three. And he also gave us the book. So a lot of professors will either give you the book or you just kind of got to gauge if you're really going to use the book. I had one professor um, recommended we buy this book. So we bought the book and we never touched it. Oh, and also the biggest, biggest thing is a lot of teachers advertise this. Um, but let's say that you can't, you try to buy the book and you can't buy the book or for whatever reason you can't buy the book. A lot of teachers have a copy of the book in the library that you can use at any time that the library is open, uh, but you can't take it out of the library, so you can check it out and read it and work in it and then check it back in. So there's always other free options. And there's so many different platforms you can find free textbooks too. So don't buy your textbooks. My last advice is to definitely, definitely go to office hours. I was terrified as a freshman and I didn't know where the offices were. So for the College of Business, you're gonna go upstairs, second floor, you're gonna go to the right side, if you're coming up the stairs, 
and it is the professor's suite. You'll be greeted by a student. The student has a list of all their office hours, all their lunches. They'll know if the professor is in there or not, or if they're seeing a student. So definitely, definitely go in there and introduce yourself, say hi, just get to know the professors, especially in the College of Business. They're all super fun and super cool. Definitely get to know your professors, not only because they will give you a good grade and if you visit them, they'll bump it up a little bit, uh, by a couple points, not by a lot. Um, if you're like an 89, 90 kind of scenario, if you visit a little bit more, they're gonna probably most likely bump it up. But also you're going to need some recommendations for if you're going to grad school or if you're trying to get into a program or scholarships, you need a letter of recommendations. That's the best way is just visiting those professors, getting to know them a little bit more. Um, I've had a couple professors that I've known that I'm like, hi, would you uh, do a letter of recommendation? They're like, absolutely, I will write one for you. Okay, so that's everything I wish I would have known as a freshman. There's a couple of, there might be a couple other things that I've, I'm forgetting, but if you have any other questions or anything you want to know, comment down below because I will be filming a um, Q&A of what you guys uh, want to know about Ember Riddle. Anything you want to know, leave it down below and I will answer those questions for you. Like I said, my name is Alyssa and I am a graduate from Ember Riddle and Oak University. I got my degree in business administration, marketing concentration with a minor in entrepreneurship. Plot twist, I'm going back to my grad school and I'm going to get an MBA in supply chain. So if you need any advice, I'm here. I've been here for four years, going on my fifth. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.